5 News at 6 starts right now. I am upset. Upset, frustrated, and angry about the situation. Well, you heard it. Outrage tonight in Paulding County. Good evening and welcome to Fox 5 News at 6. We begin with a Fox 5 I-Team exclusive. Now, we've learned an 11th hour secret attempt to transfer county land to the Paulding County Airport Authority has sent shockwaves through the county. Angry commissioners held a closed door meeting. The county's long-standing law firm has been fired and the controversial 163-acre land swap was stopped dead in its tracks. Fox 5 senior IT team reporter Dale Russell joins us now with this exclusive report. Dale? Tom, you know, when you say controversy in Paulding County in the same breath, you can be sure it has something to do with the airport. And once again, it does. I'm saying, wasn't really shocked. Was I surprised? No. Paulding County Commissioners Vernon Collette and Todd Pownell may not have been surprised when they found out the outgoing commission chairman tried to deed away county land, but they weren't happy. I am upset. Upset, frustrated, and angry about the situation. Those are pretty typical emotions when it comes to the ongoing dispute over the Paulding County Airport. For more than five years, the plans for the future of this pristine airport has torn the county apart. I think they really pulled the wool over our eyes. Many citizens were outraged when they learned then-Commission Chairman David Austin planned to expand the tiny airport and bring in commercial airline service, an announcement that spawned nine lawsuits and is still unsettled. On his last day in office, then-County Commission Chairman David Austin signed this deed giving 163 acres of county land here at the airport to the Paulding County Airport Authority. Is it fair to say the county commission knew nothing about this? That's very absolutely, absolutely. The commissioners tell me that David Austin came here to tally Richardson and Cable Law Firm to sign the deed. Why here? Because this is the law firm that represents the county commission, but also represents the Paulding County Airport Authority. When Pownell and Collette found out that the firm's two airport authority lawyers oversaw the signing of the deed, they quickly stepped in, made sure the deed was never filed in court, and stopped the transfer of land. Does Mr. Austin argue that as chairman he had the power to do this on his own without the commission's knowledge or vote? Mr. Austin will argue that he has the power as chairman to do anything that he wants, and uh, that's not the case. In executive session two days ago, the commission voted to fire the county's long-standing law firm, a powerful local firm that includes former Speaker of the House Glenn Richardson and has handled Paulding County business for some 30 years. If your law firm that represents the county goes and does something like this, it, there's a problem, and that I, I can't can't trust that no more. Now, we repeatedly tried to reach David Austin for his side of this unfolding controversy. We didn't hear back from him. We also didn't hear back from the Tally Richardson and Cable law firm. Perhaps indicative of other problems in, in Paulding County government procedure? You know, this thing has been such a mess. There yeah. nine lawsuits involved. Who's got the authority to make these decisions? One indication that we got is perhaps that, that David Austin and, and the attorneys felt like this could maybe stave off another lawsuit. Mm -hmm. but. We didn't get a chance to talk to them, so we didn't hear why they made the decision they did. But this law firm has been with this county for 30-some years. Wow. And, and this is a, a big blow to that firm and, and a big shock to people involved in Some county. new ground being charted here. Yes. Dale, thanks.